Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for uh, December 2024. We're going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this Yin Energy card, which I think you had in the last reading, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, you have this Yin Energy card and the Fates card. So the Yin Energy card is about being more in kind of like resting, relaxing mode. And we have a bunch of retrogrades at the end of the year. So I think it's a great time to be in resting, relaxing mode. Uh, with that, I love that Fates card, but I think that you are thinking about things that you want is kind of what popped into my head uh, with that card. And, you know, so is it really talking about fate or is it really talking about things that you hope are part of your, you know, fate or your destiny? I, that's kind of like more the feeling I get if I make, if that makes sense. Like normally that card kind of represents fated things happening. Uh, but really for you, I think it's you about like you thinking about things that you hope are part of your destiny, like things that you hope you can have in life or, you know, experiences that you hope you can create in your life. And with the Ten of Cups, I would say that, yes, you can create those experiences. So I would definitely do it. You have the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Nine of Cups is all about being in alignment uh, with what you want. You know, it is a wish card. It can say that you're getting something that you wish for, of course, but we have to be in the energy of already having it before we can have it, and that's what the Nine of Cups is all about. You know, he's meant to look chubby on this card because he's about to have a feast, and it basically says that he's having a feast because he, is, he has had it before. And so to have something, it kind of suggests that we have to have the energy of something before we can have it. So if you want love, you have to be in love before you can have love. And, you know, a lot of people ask how, and I always say, well, you have to love yourself, or you can go love a dog or a cat or nature. And it doesn't have to be exactly the thing that you want. You just have to express the energy. Same thing with money as well. Like you can just go be around abundance, or you can do things that make you feel abundant. And the Nine of Cups is really all about doing that so you can get what you want. Uh, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Really wouldn't be a Libra reading without the Seven of Pentacles, you know, is the juice worth the squeeze? That's been the name of the game for you for all of 2024. So a lot of, you know, kind of like sifting and sorting, I guess, as Esther Hicks would say, a lot of kind of going back and forth, which I don't think is a bad thing, by the way, Libra. I think you've been, you know, just like maybe 2024 was a decision year for you where you decided, you know, I want some of these things in my life. I want I, some of these other things, but I don't want this. And I feel there's been a lot of that energy, obviously, because you get this card in every single reading that I do for you. And again, like I said, I think it's a good thing. You've just been, you know, deciding what you want. Uh, I think you've also been deciding like where you want to put work as well. He's looking at what the work that he's already done and he's trying to decide if it's worth it or not. So I think a lot of you have been looking at your work and saying like, this is worth it. This isn't worth it. And this has maybe pushed some of you to decide to look for new beginnings as well. We have two aces in this reading and in two aces is a definite new beginning or, you know, looking to start something new and especially the ace of wands because ace of wands is out with the old in with the new. And, you know, I think a lot of you could be making these changes. The Ace of Wands is also the complete opposite of this Yin Energy card. So I do feel that some of you, maybe you've been on pause with that Yin Energy card or you've been taking a break and now you're being more active. Uh, you have the Three of Pentacles and you also have the Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups. These are all cards of like community, teamwork, working together with other people. So anything you can do to get benefits from other people would be a good idea. There is something popping into my head with this card too that I feel like the quality of the work that you're doing is going to be very important. If you are working on a project or a business or an idea, Three of Pentacles is all about going just a little bit above and beyond. He has these three pentacles up here, and then he has, which is forms a fire triangle, and he has this water triangle right below it, right here. And that water triangle kind of says that he put in just like a little bit extra into the project to make it a little bit better, right? And so if you're working on anything or if you're trying to like impress your boss, or any of that stuff, then I would definitely say going above and beyond would be worth it right now. I don't think it always is, right? <laughs> I think for the most part, um, you know, especially in corporate America, right? Uh, going above and beyond, it really never helps you stand out. But in this situation, I think that it would. 
Uh, with the Nine of Cups, you have the Nine of Swords. This is that fear. I think a lot of people, I would say that Pluto moving into Aquarius, going over that cusp of Capricorn, you know, between Capricorn and Aquarius is an existential crisis. You could be uh, 23 years old and you could be saying to yourself, oh my God, I'm too old. I'm never going to have the things I want. That's what I mean by an existential crisis. And I think everybody's feeling this right now. It might not be about how old you are, but, you know, I think the feelings of feeling like you've missed out on something or feeling like something has passed you by is a very common feeling that everyone could be feeling right now about, you know, literally anything. It could be about love, could be about business, could be about where you are in life. And I would just say, just like understand that it's the energy. It's not real, you know? So, you know, I, I think the Nine of Swords is saying, no, like, don't, stay in that zone, right? <laughs> Get into the Nine of Cups, not the Nine of Swords, is what I'm trying to say. Yes, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Sun, which says focus on the good stuff. So I feel a lot of you, you know, the Sun is a very good card. It causes things to grow, and there's something growing on the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel for a lot of you, you could be growing more Pentacles, making more money, or you could be doing things, making changes uh, to grow more money. We also see a lot of happiness here. The sun is ultimate happiness. You have the ten of cups, three of cups. These are all cards of happiness. So there could just be a lot of like joy coming in for you. With the three of pentacles, you have the tower. Uh, the tower with the three of pentacles would say that you have learned the reality of working with other people. So maybe you have tried to work with other people in the past and it just hasn't worked out, <laughs> uh, which I think is true for a lot of people. And I feel like this is saying that like now you know what to look for, look out for. So don't like don't give up on working together with other people, especially if you're working on something important. I think this what's more important is that you say like, okay, now I see who's right and who's wrong for me and I'm just gonna move forward and operate from that position. That's more what I get off of that card. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this prairie dog. It says cheerful, cheerfulness, which is good, a lot of happiness in this reading, industry and gracious. You have this cheetah. It says uh, speediness, shrewdness, and loquacious. So something there could be a quick change uh, coming in for you with these cards. And I feel it'll make you very happy. I do feel for some of you, it's clearly about working together with like other people. So if you're teaming up with people or uh, deciding to work on a team with people, the Three of Cups can say that there's going to be a lot of happiness in you working together with other people. Uh, this could also just be a happiness because you're spending time with family, you know, especially with that Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups can be happy home, happy family, or it can be people who are very close to you. So it looks to me like it would be a great time to socialize or to get together with friends. You have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is out with the old and with the new. I definitely feel you're growing something new. This is, I mean, this is basically a repeat of your past, you know, I don't know, 10 readings, Libra. I think that all your readings are have been saying that you are clearly letting go of something work-wise. Work and doing something different, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to quit your job. You know, you could be telling your boss that you want to do something different. Maybe they're moving you around or, you know, putting you in a different position. Uh, same, but, you know, again, some of you definitely could be looking for a different job, something that's more exciting. The Ace of Wands, it's not really a card of fulfillment, but usually it leads to fulfillment because it's something that you really desire. You know, the Ace of Wands is very strong desire. And so, again, if you're getting something new, like a new job with this card, then there's probably a lot more desire you know you actually want to do it and which will make the job better in the first place i do also feel there's love here of course going this way and so some of you could be meeting a new person and it's kind of like a weird reading for love we actually see very good cards for love you know mostly the knight of cups and the the ten of cups the ace of wands is more usually kind of like a fling or something that is very that happens very quickly but intuitively i kind of feel like this is something that maybe starts as a fling and then you know you basically fall in love <laughs> so i don't know some of you could be turning like a friends with benefits into a like an actual person uh you have the king of pentacles yeah i i do think that you know there is love here but like the main focus of this reading seems to be your financial stability the king of pentacles He's a card of wealth or, you know, building long-term wealth and building financial security, which I think you are focusing on. You're definitely doing something new because even from the King of Pentacles, we go to the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles has these empty fields behind him. So he has to plant seeds in those fields. And again, again, that would tell me that you're planting your seeds somewhere else. Like literally this guy has planted seeds in a field on the Seven of Pentacles. They've already grown. And now it's like you're growing something new. 
Uh, with the Three of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands. Yes, yeah, still boundaries with people. I think that, you know, having come off of a tower, it, you know, if you have had a tower moment working with other people, then the Three of Cups with the Nine of Wands would say, you know, make sure you're setting appropriate boundaries when you work with people again in the future. With the Ace of Wands, damn, you have the star, the sun, sorry, the uh, star, you do have the sun, but uh, this is definitely good. I, I prefer readings, of course, that go from the tower to the star, because the star comes up after the tower, and it represents healing from a tower moment, so you could be healing, you have probably already have, because it's showing up right here, um, healed from the tower moment. Uh, these two cards are like fame and fortune when they show up together as well. Uh, it doesn't mean you're going to be famous or you're or anything like that, but it is very good for attention. And with the Three of Pentacles, we definitely want to get as much attention as we possibly can on whatever we're working on. So Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work, but he is showing this work. You know, he's showing this work to those other two people. He is like showing what he has accomplished. The, the tower here could say that you have done this before. Like maybe you have shown your boss your work and maybe they ignored you or they walked away <laughs> and you didn't get attention. So this would kind of represent new attention on your work, which is probably good. With the King of Pentacles, yes, you have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is a foundational card. The King of Pentacles is a foundational card. To me, they are foundational energies. They both represent building a solid foundation or having a solid foundation in the case of the King of Pentacles. So I feel for a lot of you that you're just kind of like working on your financial foundation. And this is, you know, it just, it is what it is, right? Uh, next, in the area of messages from your future self, you have this card that says it's time to take action. Yes, Knight of Pentacles, we'll talk about it. You also have this card that says take time to breathe out. Yin energy card also showing up in this reading. So I think that it's a great time for you to take action. And I, like I said on the Ace of Wands earlier, I definitely get this energy of you know, being more motivated with that Ace of Wands. You're, it's like you start with that Yin energy, which is very passive, and you're stepping into that Ace of Wands energy, which would be more active. And then you have this card as well, which says it's time to take action. So I think that a lot of you are more act are going to be more action-oriented. You have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. The Knight of Cups, of course, can be a knight in shining armor. So if you want love, there is love here. I don't I don't think it's like a major focus, but you know, it could be something that happens. I do I for some of you I feel like it's an accident. <laughs> I'll just say that. Like as in maybe you're like not intending to uh, get into anything, but it just happens type of feeling. So that definitely is a possibility uh, with the Knight of Cups. Could be any sign. You have like every single energy here. But definitely could be a knight in shining armor. Uh, for others, the Knight of Cups can be your dream life. He is dreaming. He is very dreamy. Uh, but he needs to plant seeds in front of this water and they will grow. And so it's time to like take action on your dreams. And what do you know? You, ha you have a card of planting seeds right here. He has everything he needs, the Knight of Pentacles, to plant seeds in this empty field behind him. And those seeds will grow. But he's the only knight in the tarot that isn't making a move towards growing anything. He has these oak leaves on his helmet as well, which kind of say the oak leaves represent knowledge and wisdom. And it basically says that he has every everything he needs. He knows everything he needs to know to do something well, but he might be overthinking the situation or he's playing it too safe. He's being too cautious, which the Knight of Pentacles can also represent. So I think in work, or if you're thinking about starting a business or growing something, this is saying you like you know enough to be dangerous, so it's time to get started because the seeds will grow. Uh, you have the Queen of Swords. Pretty much everyone has had the Queen of Swords. Uh, you know, I think this set of retrogrades that we're entering into right now is going to be great for clarity. So I do feel a lot of people will actually f gain a lot of clarity during this set of retrogrades or, you know, could be seeing things clearly. You know, people think of retrogrades as confusing, but really, um, you know, if, we're, if we are processing things from the past or information from the past, we can gain a great deal of clarity from the past. So, you know, again, you could just be processing things that you've been through, lessons you've learned, and gaining a lot of clarity based off of, you know, all of that. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, you have the Eight of Wands. Told you, I think this is something that's going to happen very quickly as well. <laughs> it feels like a good, a happy accident, right? That's going on here. So again, if you, maybe you start talking to a person, which you know, Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, this would definitely be communication energy. You, like, you, like you start talking to a person and then you fall in love or something like that. And it's definitely popping into my head.
With the Knight of Pentacles, yes, whatever you're thinking about, you need to do, right? You have the Queen of Swords with that Knight of Pentacles as well. And so again, some of you might be doubting uh, your next steps, but I feel the Queen of Swords is saying, no, those, those are your next steps, whatever you're thinking about. So I think you need to stop thinking and start doing with this uh, Queen of Swords, like all this stuff. With the Queen of Swords, you have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords can represent lying, cheating, stealing, but really Seven of Swords is a good card. It represents tactics. He is stealing those swords from this army that's in the background of the card here. So instead of going to war, he is stealing the swords and it basically just represents uh, doing things in a better way or instead of like doing things a certain way, you do them in a different way uh, than how everyone else does it and that could lead to success. You know, it's a card of tactics. It's also a card of doing something uh, delicately as well, which I don't normally say, but it is kind of popping into my head for you where... Um, you know, like maybe you want to take your time or sometimes I feel he is saying that you should keep things to yourself until you build something up to a certain point. And so, you know, again, he's carrying those swords by their tips. So he has to be very careful. That's why he's tiptoeing away and because he's like sneaking away from that army. And I'm not saying you're sneaking or anything, but I do think you have to do things delicately. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have a star blessings card and you have the star showing up here. You have this renewal and rebirth card. Yeah, I, I think a lot of you are, you, like I said earlier in the reading, it's like maybe you've had a little bit of a existential crisis where you're like, oh my God, I'm too, I'm too old. I'm too young. I'm too this. I'm too that to be able to, you know, accomplish this goal. But I think a lot of you are maybe slowing that those, that thought process down with that nine of swords in the beginning. And you're saying, well, how can I do it even if I have limitations? And you know, of course, that's a great way to operate. I think that's a great thing to do in life. You have the ace of swords, the 10 of cups and the knight of swords. Ace of Swords is a victory, so whatever you're setting out to do, I think if you put in the work, of course, you'll be successful. The Ace of Swords also usually represents a sacrifice, so we usually have to cut something out to get something greater with the Knight of Swords. And again, you have the Ace of Wands. There's definitely like a new beginning, like you're leaving something behind or you're moving on from like a job and getting something new, and that will lead to a victory if you're, if you're thinking about doing that. Of course, I wouldn't just quit a job right now. I would go get something and then quit, but... You know, again, I think that whatever you're thinking is a victory. Uh, you have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is like fortune after difficulty, especially in the good stuff. You know, it can represent good things coming in after a difficult period of time. It can also represent blessings coming in for you as well. So I feel for a lot of you that there are blessings. I think a lot of you are finding better people to spend time with as well based off of the Tower with the Three of Pentacles, which is you know, kind of like disappointments working with other people, <laughs> which is maybe something you've experienced for years. And now I think you could be finding better people to team up with or work with. You have the Knight of Swords. Uh, Knight of Swords and the good stuff would represent something happening quickly. And again, the Eight of Wands, which you also have here, represents something happening fast. You know, it can represent a quick conclusion or a quick success. So I feel like whatever you've been waiting for could be changing quickly or is happening uh, faster with that Knight of Swords. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Funny enough, like Wheel of Fortune is your destiny. And I was talking about that with the Fates card, how, you know, your fate is like your destiny. And I was feeling something different than I normally feel with that Fates card. Like there are certain things, like I think there are th more things that you are, you are thinking you want to be part of your destiny. And the Wheel of Fortune is really your personal vision for your life. So it is your destiny in the sense of how you see it, exactly what I was saying on that Fates card. So, you know, it, it's not necessarily like what the universe thinks your destiny is, right? <laughs> and so I think a lot of you are maybe taking control of your destiny with that card. Uh, with the Ten of Cups, I'm telling, I really feel that there could be like a surprise connection for some of you. Obviously, you know, take it how it resonates if you're already in love or something. This is also good if you're already in a connection. But if you're not in a connection and um, if you're thinking that you don't want one as well, I, and again, I'm not, I would never tell people they have to do something. But, you know, again, I think that there might be something that just uh, captures your attention. There might be something so good you just can't ignore it coming in for you. And I think it might be a little bit of a surprise. I don't think it's like some sort of like, you know, clickbait, mind-blowing surprise. I just think that maybe you're just not expecting, you know, a person to approach you or uh, maybe you just aren't really looking for it, And but it happens anyway. And that's, that's what I get there. You have all four aces. Now with the Knight of Swords, you have the Ace of Cups. Four aces is definite new beginning energy. So there is clearly some, you know, you have the four here. And so I think there is definitely like some sort of new beginning or fresh start 
uh, coming in for you, and it's going to be a positive fresh start with that energy because their aces, you know, they're all pretty good, and so I think something very positive, you know, very positive new beginning is coming in for you. Uh, you have this harp. It says great happiness, tons of happiness in this reading. It's so many cards of happiness. So there you go. You have this July card and this ring card. It says marriage will take place either in romance or business. <laughs> exactly what I said. So there you go. Uh, you, maybe you meet a person and get married by the month of July. That could be the surprise. You know, maybe you commit to a person. And I'm not saying you have to get married, but you know, again, maybe you commit to a person more quickly than you think. Uh, this could also be in business because we have great business stuff here. And again, maybe you've sworn off working with people. But uh, again, maybe you meet a person that's actually worth working with. Uh, you have this beetle card says good fortune on it. Yeah, I mean, I will say this is probably the best reading I've done for December so far. I only have three more uh, to do. So, you know, so far, I would say, but definitely in good fortunes. Uh, you have this rabbit it says too much concern with sexual matters. I, I would be careful of anyone like that with this card, especially with Mars retrograde. Mars retrograde is weird with energy. And, you know, if anyone's being too pushy or whatever, I would be careful. Uh, you have this yoke card it says feeling tied down or frustrated. That's what I was talking about with that existential crisis, like where you're saying, like, oh, I'm too old for this, or, you know, I lost out on my opportunity to have that thing over there, like whatever it is for you. And I feel that really the whole reading is saying like, no, you, you can still have, even if you feel like you lost something, or even if you feel like you're there's some sort of limitation on what you want, uh, the, the answer is no, it's not true. So I think this reading is kind of also, I wouldn't really call it a turnaround reading. I, for, for me to have a turnaround reading, I need more than like what's here. Like I need uh, temperance, ju judgment. You do have the wheel of fortune, but you know those cards kind of give me more the feelings of a turnaround. But I do kind of feel that you can recreate your situation so that you can get what you want. And I feel this reading is definitely encouraging that. So uh, looks good, interesting as well. So thank you for being here, and definitely enjoy your month.